All right, so here we have a question on data. They give us a table and ask us to evaluate different statements based on that data. And they want us to, to tell which one is most valid. So they love questions like this. I do not love questions like this. But anyway, we can still use logic to reason our way through this. Let's read it. So it says 400 licensed drivers participated in the math club's survey on driving habits. The table below shows the number of drivers surveyed in each group. So here are the age groups, here are the number of drivers. And right away what I notice is that the most number of drivers is in this young age group. From 16 to 25, there are 150 drivers. And then as I go up in age groups, right, the amount of drivers surveyed decreases. So that's a giveaway right away. But let's just check out their statements. So one, they say it may be biased because no one younger than 16 was surveyed. Well, it's true that no one younger than 16 was surveyed. However, right, um, no one below 16 will be driving. That's too young in New York State to have a license. So actually, this question itself is biased. You have to know a little bit about driving in order to even answer it. So I don't like this question right away. But anyway, number two, it says it would be fair because many different age groups were surveyed. Well, it's true. Many different age groups were surveyed. Unfortunately, as we noticed, I mean, 150 were surveyed as young drivers. Only 31 older drivers were surveyed. So I, I would say, no, it's not fair because of that. Three, it would be fair because the survey was conducted by the math club students. Well, I guess that the, the person surveying it shouldn't really matter, right? They should, they should treat this as a scientific process and not input their biases. So whether or not they're math club students is irrelevant. So now four is the only answer left that makes sense. And it says, this study may be biased because the majority of drivers surveyed were in the younger age intervals, right? Yes, these younger age intervals have a lot more people in them than the older ones. And in fact, it starts branching off from 36 up. There's there's barely anyone, right? 30 and 60 is 90 and 120. If I sum up these three groups, I don't even get as many as either one of these younger categories. So four is certainly the most reasonable answer. Thanks.